Hi, this is John of Trish and John's Gardening Channel. Today is April 18th, 2015. It's just about 69 days after we planted our pepper seeds. We wanted to give you a quick update on the progress of the plants as well as what we're going to do today to prune back the pepper plants and get them ready for the next stage. Now the three peppers that you see in the shot here, these are the Anaheim peppers. These are doing quite well. They're just about 11 to 12 inches high at this point. And again, what we're going to do first here is we want to show you what we're going to do to trim these back. Uh, we've already pruned them once, just about a couple weeks ago, but we're going to prune them one more time. And we just want to kind of take you through that process. So let me move the camera in a little bit closer and we'll show you exactly what we got going on. Okay, the first thing we wanted to show you today is the progress that these plants have made since we last pruned them on March 22nd. That's just about 28 days ago. Firstly, we've got the green stem in the center. That's the primary stem. And we cut it back here. You can see that little nub that's exactly where we cut it back. What has happened since, that has promoted the growth of these two stems here. You can see they're quite sturdy. And rather than having one primary stem, we now have two primary stems, which are going to give this plant the ability to produce much more fruit. It's also beefed up the main stem, which is going to make this a much stockier, sturdier plant when we put this in the ground outside. That's the first thing we want to talk about. Let me just pull the camera back and we'll talk about how we're going to go ahead and prune this plant today. Okay, the first step in pruning this plant today is we're going to work below the point at which we had pruned it the last time. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to actually take off these lower stems here. We don't want them at this point in the game. We want to take them off. The reason why we're doing that, if you look down here, hopefully you can see that way down at the base, that's where the cotyledons were. Those were the first leaves that come out. We've, we've buried this plant up to this point. And when we put this outside, we're probably going to bury it up to this node. If you look back in the videos, you'll see that we've continued to bury this plant deeper and deeper. You have to be less aggressive with that method than you would say tomatoes. But every time we pot this up, we do like to bury it a little bit deeper. So by trimming these leaves off, I've kind of opened the plant up, but also I'm kind of getting it ready for the next stage, which is to put this outside in probably the next four weeks or so. And when we put it outside, we're probably going to bury it right up to that node. Uh, maybe. I'm not sure yet, but uh, we may do that. So, again, let me change the shot, and I'll show you the top of the plant and what we do to trim that back. Okay, so the second thing we want to do to these plants today is we want to top the plants. We want to prune them back from the top down. We want to do that for really two reasons. Number one, this is the sister plant to the one we were looking at earlier. I wanted to show you this plant because it's a little bit further along in the fact that it's actually growing buds. It's starting to flower, and we don't want that. So number one reason why we're going to prune today is because we want to cut them back. We, we don't want this plant to start flowering in the house. We want to let the plant concentrate on spending its time creating a stronger, sturdier plant, stockier plant, generating more low growth. And once we put it outside and establish the plant, then we'll allow it to go ahead and start to flower. So I am going to cut this back. There are actually on this stem, I don't know if you can see that, but there's actually four true leaves on this stem. And we're just going to go ahead and we're going to cut that back and top that plant. Now, Again, that looks a little aggressive, and you know some people don't like to do that, but it's beneficial in the long run. You just have to kind of trust the process. You can see here, I don't know if you can see that, but already on the lower nodes here, we've got growth. So by topping it, that's going to promote growth here in this notch. It's going to create, if you will, a sucker, just like you would have on a tomato plant. That is going to promote growth here and here and, and also above it. So rather than having one branch, we'll end up with four offshoots in this case. So I'm going to do the same thing here on this plant. We're going to top it. Again, we leave around four true leaves and that's about it. So again, it looks fairly drastic, but in the long run, this is going to be a much healthier plant. And when we check back in a few weeks, we'll be able to show you exactly what the benefits are of trimming it back as we've just shown you. So let me cut the film and I want to show you the Chinese pepper plants. Again, these were the Anaheims that we're trimming back 
just wanted to show you where we are with progress of the other pepper plants that we have. Okay, so here's a little closer view of the Chinese five color pepper plant. You can see here, these have also started creating buds. And again, we don't want that. We wanna wait until these plants are outside before we let them start, start budding and flowering. So we've got four leaves here. I don't know if you can see that, but we've got four main leaves here. And we're gonna cut this or top this plant right below where the buds are. We're also gonna do that to this stem here. Again, hopefully you can see that. I leave about a quarter of an inch between the last true leaf and where I'm gonna trim the plant back. I'm also, if you look down here, there's another little offshoot here. I'm gonna trim as well, and believe it or not, even, even that one has a bud on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim that one back. And if I turn the plant around, you'll see here, again, in this case, I've got two main leaves near the base of this stem. I've got two more here, the true leaves. This also has buds, I don't know if you can see that, but again, I'm gonna go ahead and trim him back. Okay, so if you look at that, it looks quite drastic, right? It looks like, oh my God, why would you do that to a perfectly healthy plant? But I guess you just have to trust the method and this plant in another two weeks or less is gonna have all kinds of side shoots coming out and it's gonna look much healthier than it did even before we trimmed it today. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that to the remainder of my pepper plants. We're also gonna do that to the mini bell peppers. I won't show you those today, but the process of trimming and pruning the plant is very much similar to what we did on the Anaheims and the Chinese five color peppers. That's it for today. If you like this video, please like us on YouTube and subscribe to our channel. That would be fantastic and share it with your friends. Hope to talk to you soon and have a really good day. Cheers.